Hi everyone, Nancy here. It is, uh, what day is today? Today is August 6, 2020, and it is 6, um, I'm just reaching over to check the time. It's 6.20 in the, in the evening. Guys, um, I wanted to show you what I learned. I, I showed, I want to show you guys a, a little trick for how you can cut your cat's thyroid pill in half because I received um, see normally okay my cat is taking a thyroid pill and hers was one kind and I have to give her one in the morning and one in then 12 hours later right but then um, the doctor didn't have the when it was time for my cat to get a new um, prescription the doctor didn't have the the pills that they normally give me so they had to give me another one only this time I have to cut it in half so I give her half of the pill in the morning and half of the pill in the evening and I'm like how am I gonna do this because every time I cut the pill in half the pill would become like it, it would crumple up and you lose some of the dosage whenever you're gonna give to to the cat so I, I did some research on YouTube and I found um, a really neat way for how to how to have how to have your your thyroid your cat's thyroid pill in half okay so um, I'm gonna show you what what I learned okay this is what I learned okay. okay so this this is the pill that's the pill this one that's the one that Uma normally takes something called the the limazole <laughs> and then um, but we, the doctor gave us another one and this one is called um, this one is called tapazole okay and I'm so glad that I kept like my extra bottles because I kept keeping my extra bottles the empty ones I'm like I'm gonna need them for some reason I know I'm gonna need them and then they turned out it turns out that I'm gonna that I did need them and I'll tell you why hold on let me fix this there, right there. All right, so here I go. Um, so there's the pill. It's very small. This is what I learned from a channel. You take the knife, okay, and you have to kind of make an indentation. You have to like, you see the pill, it has, you know, like when you have to cut a pill in half, the pill already comes scored. Like it comes with a half, right? It gives you, it, it comes with a guide where you cut it in half. But when I was cutting it in half, like I said before, my, the pill was crumpling up and becoming into nothing. It was becoming like half of the pill I would get, it would cut in half, but it would crumple up, and the other side would be completely crumpled up, so it, that's not good. So, uh, anyway, so then I, I started to look to see where I can find a YouTube video with an idea that would help me to cut the pill in half much neater, in a, in a neater form. And I found a YouTube video where you use a spoon. So this is what the guy did. He took the pill, and he cut like he he takes a knife and then he starts to well, hold can you did I move it okay he starts to okay I'm gonna have to I'm right-handed okay, this is my right hand but if I do this you can't see so I'm gonna have to do it like this you take the knife and you you gently you you just gently you know try and apply pressure along the line okay not too much just gently just very gently okay like that and you're gonna see that it's gonna a little bit of the pill is gonna crumple up but that's okay All right and then you see the guy in the video he took a spoon and placed it there I hope I can do this so that you guys can see. He placed it like that. And then you you place 
you pos you position the pill so that each half is like one's on this side and the other one is over here. Oops. Hold on. Okay. So you position the pill so that each okay, one side is the half side is on this side, one half of it is on this side, and the other half is on this side. And with your thumbs, you take the pill and you apply pressure and you snap it in half like this. Hope you can see. Okay, so I've just snapped it in half. I don't think you, you, you didn't see that, but I just snapped it in half. Now watch this. Oops. I didn't do it the right way. It's a very awkward thing for me to do this on camera, but I think you get the message, right? So it just, it snapped in half, but it didn't um, snap evenly. But um, every single day that I've been doing this, it's been working just fine. So I will, I will, you know, perform what I just did, and then when I snap the pill in half, I will get even two even sides. And so then what I'll do, I will take one of my extra pill bottles, and I will put one in there, and then I will give my cat the other one at that hour. And so then later on, I will take the other half that's in here and give her her other pill. And then the next morning, I will do the same, you know, the same, um, like I, I will cut the pill again the same way. But anyway, but normally I do it on, I do it on a piece of paper so that any residue that gets left, I can just put it into her food. But the reason why I did it on, on a red surface is so that the contrast, you know, you will be able to see the contrast. Okay, guys, and for people who have, um, you know, larger hands like guys, I figured out a way how you could do it because with some guys have, you know, men have big hands, right? So I, um, you guys can, I'll do it again for you, okay? So I'm going to do it again. What you can do is... Hold on. Okay. So this time I'm going to use this. What you can do is use, uh, can you see it? Can you see it? Okay. Get yourself a uh, pair of scissors. And you place the pill like that, and you place it in between, you know, like that. You just hold it up. You don't have to hold it up, but just make sure that you have the pill gripped at the, at the you know, in, in between the scissors. And then very gently, don't squeeze it, or otherwise you're going to ruin your pill. And you take the knife, and you score it, like, oops, hold on. There we go. So just hold on to it, guys. Otherwise, it's going to happen what you just saw. Like what you just saw, it came out. So then you just do like that. Okay, you, you, you score it gently. Okay. And then... You get a spoon. Hopefully, it will work. Hopefully it will work better this time. Hi, Uma. Uma. Uma's over here. Okay, so... Yes, you take the spoon. This is a tiny spoon. It's a small spoon, but I don't think it matters because in the video, the guy used a larger spoon. Like a, like a, a soup spoon, you know? And then you grab each half which, with your thumbs, like that. And then you just apply pressure so that you will snap it in half. Hold on. Okay, so I think this time it worked better. There we go. See? So now I got two halves, two equal halves. All right? Because like this, I was wondering, you know, how am I going to help people who have large hands, but, you know, who can't hold on to the pill to score it, how am I going to help them? Because that's difficult, guys. So then I'm like, 
um, Lord, let me, like, give me some ideas, please. And all of a sudden, this came to, to mind. Like, I, I was thinking in my brain, you know, I said, Lord, please give me some ideas. And then the idea to hold the pill together somehow, like to hold it still, came to my head. And I was thinking, Lord, but what else, what else? And then this came to mind, the scissors. Okay, guys, so, yeah, that's, that's a, a good way to, to score your pill and to snap it in half. And make sure, make sure that you have extra pill bottles. And if you don't have any extra pill bottles, make sure that you can, like you get like a, maybe Tupperware, like this, something like that. And it has to be airtight, okay? Airtight means this this little blue thing here is a it's a rubber. If it didn't have the rubber, it would not be airtight. The rubber stops the air from going through. So make sure that it's airtight, okay? And you can put it in here. If you don't have your other pill bottles, just make sure you get something to seal it. And if you don't have something that has a, a rubber, like in there, just make sure that you, you do have a container that does seal well enough that the air will not get in, okay? Okay, guys, so that's what I wanted to show you. And we have to say thank you to the Lord because he was the one who helped me to find that idea. Okay, guys, so I guess that's it. And if you have any questions, I don't know how else I can help you. <laughs> but if you have any questions, just let me know, okay? Okay, thank you so much for coming. Los quiero a todo mundo. That means I love you very much. Y a sus mascotas and your pets. Y a sus familias and your families. Y los quiero a todo mundo. And I love you very much. Okay, guys, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so that you will be notified for each time that I upload a video, okay? When you click on the bell, you will be notified for each time I up upload a video. And it's the same thing for your other channels. If you don't click on the bell, you will not be notified every time. You will be notified once in a while. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, I love you. God bless you. I love you. Ciao, ciao.